There are few films from the 1980s more classic than Top Gun, and the main character Maverick really knows how to rock a leather jacket like a badass. So what's the secret to stealing his rakish style for yourself? Guys, it's time for another movie challenge. Thomas with Real Men Real Style here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to rock the style of Top Gun. First up, let's start with the clothing. The cornerstone of Maverick style is definitely that leather jacket. It's a classic G1 flight jacket, which was first issued in 1947. It's never stated outright in the movie, but the jacket likely belonged to his father, as the G1 was no longer standard for pilots in 1986. Some key features of the classic bomber are the elastic waistband and cuffs, the two patch pockets on the waist, and the fur-lined collar. His jacket is also covered with a variety of patches, commemorating different naval ships, military units, and tours of duty. Under that iconic leather jacket, he wears a simple white cotton t-shirt. He sticks with a classic crew neck with a chest pocket. Now this is the 1980s, so you're not going to see any dark wash denim here. Instead, he rocks a pair of jeans with a light to medium wash in a straight fit. Now just as iconic as the leather jacket are the sunglasses Maverick wears. Originally made for pilots back in World War II, aviator sunglasses have been very popular with both military and civilians ever since. Maverick wears a pair in the classic teardrop design with a gold frame. Next up is the watch. He wears a Porsche design, aviator style chronograph. Now that's a $10,000 watch. Damn! So that's a bit steep for the budget of this video. So I'm going to go with a cheaper option instead. Now the main details I'm looking for are the black metal bracelet, black case and watch face, and three chronograph dials. He wears a casual black leather belt and a pair of western boots. The boots are pretty flashy, with a mix of red, yellow, and green leather, which matches well with the character's rebellious nature. I couldn't find boots in that color combo, so I'm going to stick with a more classic brown leather, which he appears to be wearing in the 2022 Top Gun film. Now, let's cover the grooming. The Navy requires pilots to be clean-shaven, though a short mustache is allowed, but beards are definitely out, so I'm going to need to shave mine off. I'll remove the bulk with a trimmer to make it easier to shave. Now during the 1980s, the most popular way to shave was with a multi-blade cartridge razor and an aerosol shaving cream. Today, I wouldn't recommend shaving cream in a can, as the ingredients aren't the best for your skin. It's best to use a shaving cream or gel that has natural ingredients. But hey, for the purpose of this video, I'll suffer through it. Now the reasons for being clean shaven aren't just for looks they're practical too, because you need a good seal on your oxygen mask when flying, and facial hair can interfere with that. All right, gents, whether you're using an electric safety or cartridge razor, consider using an aftershave balm. Applying this after you shave helps to cool the skin and prevent redness. Now, gents, the grooming products you see in today's video brought to you by Vitaman. And instead of me telling you how awesome they are, how about I put a link down in the description of today's video so you can try them for free. Seriously, gents, use that link in the description to grab a sample kit over at Vitaman for free. When it comes to the haircut, the Navy has specific rules for that too. The sides must be short and tapered into the top of the haircut and the hair on top cannot exceed 4 inches. Looking at Maverick's hair, it appears he uses some gel to style it, but still leaves it a little bit tousled. Ready to see it all put together? Now Maverick's cool, but if you ever want to look like John Wick, guys check out this video here where I'm going to break down and show you how to steal the style of John Wick. 